We have 16 years each of soccer experience. We've played since each of us were about five. So we've played in different types of uh, youth soccer programs, and we play at SNU now. And now we want to start the next portion of our career coming up soon and start spreading the love of soccer and our knowledge of soccer to the youth around Oklahoma. We're going to be looking to discuss um, the differences between the club system in the U.S. and the United States and the academy system. Um, we'll also be looking to talk to you guys about um, why Oklahoma needs an academy team. And we'll conclude with a couple of regular um, members and we'll answer any questions you guys have. Our mission statement is to provide the youth in, in the state of Oklahoma with the opportunity to build appropriate tools and opportunity to develop into the best players in the country. Anybody in here played youth soccer? Can raise your hand. Yeah, so not very many people know how the youth soccer program works. Uh, first, there's recreational, and that's when you're about five to ten, and that's like just for fun type of thing. And then you go to club for Oklahoma because we don't have any academy team. Club is for the more serious players that kind of some of them want to go play in college, and some are just better than recreational, so they want to play at a better level. Uh, the club, which is what I played, uh, you have eight games a season, uh, three to four showcases a year, and a showcase tournament is where you go and play when you're older. Uh, you start going there about maybe about 15 or 16, sometimes a little younger if your team's good enough. But you go and play, and then college coaches come, and that's how you get recruited, so you can play at the college level. Uh, you practice, you only practice twice a week for an hour and a half each practice time, so about three hours of practice a week. Um, the coaching requirements, the licenses are pretty easy to get. You just take one test and you can be a head coach of a team. Uh, the cost is $60 per player per month, and the month is from August. Uh, you're paying from August to July, so you're paying through that, but the two seasons are only August to November and March to May. Uh, after that, you have $200 to $400 in tournament fees, depending on how many tournaments your team goes to, which also depends on how serious your team is on wanting to play at the college level uh, and how good your team is. After the $60 per person and the tournament fees, you have your own fees that your parents and stuff will have to pay themselves because we don't travel as groups. When you play at the club level, we still just travel with our parents and our parents have to buy our own hotel rooms and stuff. Um, so it's not really a reduced rate. Is he played at the academy level, so he'll tell you guys more about the academy. Um, the academy that we are looking to um, develop is targets from the age groups of U12 to U18. So um, uh, the season begins in September and it ends in June. Um, we'll, there are tryouts, of course, for all these kind of things. Um, multiple college showcases, and like Alan said, college showcases are where you get to show your skills and your attributes and college coaches look to recruit you and see what, if you are someone that they are looking to have on their team. Um, for the academy, there is no high school soccer. You are actually, um, while I was there, if you were to play high school soccer, you would get banned for two years because you were caught. Like, it was serious. And the federation, the US federation, would ban you for two years because it's, it's, uh, the academy is seen as the higher level of soccer in the United States, and high school is below it. So it's like saying you're trying to get, you're trying to do two things at the same time when you're paying for one that's already giving you what you need. Um, the costs are between 2000 to 3000 for the entire season. It's roughly around 1000 for 10 months. And the competition is greater and the licensing for the coaches is tougher to achieve. The reasons why Oklahoma needs an academy is that I believe, or we believe, that it will attract children from all ages to want to compete at the highest level of youth soccer. It will be the first United States Developmental Academy in Oklahoma. Um, Texas currently has four, and it, it, it has like five or six um, total, but uh, the region only allows for there to be four teams. So some teams make the cut, some teams don't make the cut, and if they don't, they have to like go over to club, and their team just loses money. Um, a funny stat, or not funny, but a sad stat that we found was 
the girls from the age group of U13 to U18, there was only one girls team in Oklahoma that made the top girls soccer list of top 25 teams in the United States. Um, places like Texas, California, Kansas, and <coughs> Florida had like four or five, just more multiple teams. And then for the boys, there was no, no team made the list of the top 25 teams in the U.S. And I guess we, it really yeah. does show how poor the level. And it's important to be even how even how young you may think that it is to be a top team in the country. It really does look a lot better for college coaches, even if you're 14, 15 years old, and then you email the coach and say we're the number 12 team in the country right now. On that, they'll automatically go out and plan what tournaments they go on based on just where you're going to go, because they want to watch that one player that's on the best team in the country. So then other. And then if you're on the worst team, they're going to be like, well, this other guy, he's on a better ranked team, so he must be better. So that's why it's important. The cost for players at uh, the academy, um, usually every two seasons you get jerseys. That way you're not having to constantly buy new jerseys every season. Um, but obviously if a new player comes in, they'll have to get a new jersey. That's about $125 per player uh, for two pairs of socks, two pairs of shorts, two, pair, two jerseys. Uh, it's a lot cheaper because it's a mass order. And lots of times uh, you can get sponsorships through um, different logo companies and stuff and uh, because they want their, you know, their product out there. Uh, it'll be $100 a month for, uh, that's like, that's gonna pay like coaching fees and stuff like that and that's money is gonna go to the club. Um, additional cost will be added and it'll be on the contract that the players have to sign. Uh, it depends, we can't really say what the additional costs are because each team will go to different amount of showcase tournaments and stuff, and the hotels and amounts of how far they go and stuff like that, and every tournament costs different amounts, so it just you know, depends on what team, that, how, what age group and stuff like that. Um, each coach is gonna get paid around $800, and right now we have uh, five coaches, I'm gonna have a handout um, that will show that a little bit more, or show the coaches and stuff. Um, scholarships, if a player can't afford it, and say we want them to come to the academy, or they're good enough to play on the academy. We're gonna have uh, like community service events that we want them to go to, uh, fundraisers and things like that. That way they can kind of work for their money and um, learn. Like we want to be able to do community service and be out in the community and stuff, so we can use that as a tool for that. Along with the community service, the um, I guess there's a glitch and it deletes my numbers. Uh, okay, land was, was seventy-five thousand. The red is advertising, which is five thousand. Um, that's a pretty low from what other companies have asked for advertising because at the soccer and club, uh, you just send a handout or maybe a mass email to a bunch of people about a tryout, and everyone will talk about it. And then if you play a team and you're like, oh wow, that team is way better than my team. I'm kind of tired of you know losing a lot. I want to be a, and be a better player, then you see that and so you'll go play for them. So the advertising is just based on yourself and your team as a whole. And then the yellow was 10,000 for um, coaching for the first month because we won't have income for the, until after the, at the end of the first month, so we want to pay the coaches beforehand and that way they have a little bit of investment. And $800 may sound cheap, but it's basically paying them for their hobby because they're still gonna have a full-time job and stuff, practices are at night, uh, there's more practices, there's about four practices a week, and so it, they're just getting paid for their nighttime and then on the weekends. So they're getting paid to do what they love. And then blue was equipment. We're gonna need um, soccer goals, uh, you know, we're gonna have to get the paint, and we're gonna have to level out the field, and sprinkler system, and things like that. I'm gonna hand out uh, what our tryout uh, form looks like, and uh, we are open for questions. 